how to wire an ECM relay. Modern engine control modules or ECM circuits have the job of providing the main fuel injection computer with two types of power feed, switched power and permanent power feed. Permanent power is a simple connection to the 12.6 volts battery voltage source right through a protection fuse. The other side of the circuit is the switched power supply. This power supply is done through a relay, but keep in mind that as simple as this wiring is, it also controls the entire ECM operation. From the switched power supply, the ECM also senses this 12 volt input and powers the fuel pump relay. If there's no crank sensor input meaning that the engine hasn't been started and is not cranking, then the ECM cuts the activation to the fuel pump relay in order to prevent it from functioning while the engine is off. The circuit presented here is a fairly non-complicated circuit, but it serves as the basis of understanding how ECM circuits are wired. It also serves as a guide in the event that, as it is often done today, the owner of an older, vintage or collectible vehicle wants to switch to a fuel injection system. In many cases older carburetors are either non-repairable due to parts or they are too expensive to keep them in operation. So, it pays to take them out of commission until the owner wants to sell his vehicle. Aftermarket cost-effective fuel injection systems are now very much available and simple to set and program. Here is how this circuit operates. Electrical current flows from the 12 volt positive side, though the fuse and to terminal 30 of the relay. Terminal 87 is connected to the switched side input of the ECM 12 volt current from the fuse also feeds the ignition switch. Modern ignition switches have multiple 12 volt outputs, as many as 30 outputs. The idea is to separate the power distribution at the ignition switch itself to make it simpler to diagnose and safety reasons. Then, the 12 volt power is connected to the ECM relay terminal 86, or the relay coil. The ignition switch is actually feeding the relay coil, which makes it for a more reliable circuit, since the relay carries all the load. The fuse also feeds the ECM permanent power feed. Here, we can also see the ECM activating the fuel pump relay. The relay empowers the fuel pump, but only while the ECM is receiving a crank sensor input. This system is a little different than some European makers, whereby, the actual crank sensor input circuit is built inside the fuel pump relay itself. So, in makes like Mercedes, the fuel pump relay receives the crank input and actuates the fuel pump if needed. This circuit, although simple enough, serves as the basis for most fuel injected and fuel pump systems on the road today. It will provide you with years of service and a low nominal cost.